A historic cold snap stretching as far south as Texas has left thousands of South Dakotans without electricity. The organization that oversees the electric grid for all of the areas highlighted on this map has been dealing with record usage for two days now. This morning, it issued its highest emergency energy alert. A spokesman with the local cooperative calls it the perfect storm. This cold weather has kind of plopped itself right on top of the southwest power pool uh, footprint. And so that's why we're seeing such uh, an emergency situation throughout uh, this whole area. In response, at least three cooperatives had rolling blackouts this morning, lasting up to an hour. The outage has impacted customers in several communities, including Brandon, Eastern Sioux Falls, Watertown, and Menno. More outages are possible. From homes and businesses to classrooms, these rolling blackouts presented people in eastern Calaland with some unique challenges. Calaland Sarah McDonald shows you the situation in Brandon. When the power went out in Brandon, some businesses closed their doors. However, work didn't stop at Prairie Rehabilitation. Employees used natural light and found other creative ways to keep business going as smoothly as possible. The first coworker here said the power was out here, so we just showed up and we were waiting for patients to come and call the other clinics and have them check people in for us so that we can still see them and use our mobile hotspots to make our laptops work. So we stay where it's the lightest and just do what we can for their therapies. The Brandon Valley School District already had a late start because of the extreme temperatures. The school was not scheduled to begin uh, until approximately 10 a.m. In our, in our buildings across the district. That gave district officials a short window to decide whether to cancel classes. When we talked about, uh, talked about it this morning operationally, uh, if we were going to do something, we really had to do something uh, at around 8.30 if we were going to cancel school. But the information that we had at that point in time was the power was going to be back up and running uh, around 9 o'clock or shortly thereafter. That news allowed school to go on as scheduled. In Brandon and in several other South Dakota communities, people are making the best of this unexpected situation. We found a way to make it work. Because of the outage. In Brandon, Sarah McDonald, Killaland News.